the simplest definition of permaculture is this. If you create a design where your wastes become resources, your productivity and yields increase, work is minimized, and the environment is restored, you're doing permaculture. Anytime we want to do something and we want to go against nature, guess who's eventually going to win? There's no moral judgment here. It's just like, well, we just want to push this rock uphill forever. Or why don't we work with what is and how things work and what are the patterns we find, not just in nature, but in even human interaction. Once the plant systems get established, the swale no longer has a job to do because the plants are doing the job now of soaking the water down into the ground. The reason why we look for contour is because when we fill our swales with water, if one end of the swale is way lower, then all the water is going to rush out of your swale. But if the swale is completely level, the water is being held there and it's able to slowly sink into the ground. When you put your path in, it starts defining your property and now you start focusing on that one spot and designing that one area. What you're really designing for your farm or your house or your ranch, you're designing to feed the life of the soil. Your livestock is the life of the soil. So the overflow can certainly go into a, a, step, a step system like that. It might make more sense for that to be up here on the flatter ground and then put these linear okay. food forests on the steeper slope. What is it that we design in our culture that takes a hundred years to build and will last centuries? 